A large portion of the precipitation onto the North American continent runs off into the Pacific and Arctic Oceans. Of the major functions of organizing the North American continent through the Nawapa system, the first is that of collection. Alaska alone accounts for over one-third the total runoff of the United States. If you look at the region, including the Yukon Territory, Nawapa will create reservoirs on every one of the major rivers of this region, the biggest components being the Yukon and the Mackenzie River basins. Around 20% of the runoff of this region will be collected with a series of dams creating the largest reservoirs on the face of the earth. More broadly, the total storage capacity of Nawapa will be 4.4 billion acre feet. Now, because for most of you that number might not mean anything, you should know that the largest reservoir existing in the U.S. presently is Lake Mead, formed by the Hoover Dam, with a storage capacity of a mere 35 million acre feet. In comparison, only four of the largest reservoirs of the project planned for Nawapa in the Alaska Basin are expected to store 1.5 billion acre feet by themselves. The first major collection is carried out by the formation of the Tanana Yukon Reservoir System. This reservoir system is formed by damming the Tanana and Yukon rivers. First, at Tanacross, near the Cathedral Rapids, Tanacross Dam creates the Tanana Reservoir, which feeds into the Yukon Reservoir. The Yukon Reservoir is formed by reversing the flow of the Yukon River. This will be accomplished by the 900-foot Dawson Dam just south of Dawson. This giant collection is supplemented by the Eagle, Copper, and Susitna Reservoirs. The formed Susitna Reservoir feeds into the Copper River Reservoir through a tunnel which drops 260 feet in elevation. With that added collection, the Copper River Reservoir, formed by the construction of the two largest dams ever built, supplement the Tanana Yukon system through the 30-mile-long Alaskan tunnel bored through the Alaskan mountain range. To give a sense of the magnitude of these dams, at 1,700 feet, the Chitna Dam will be 700 feet larger than the world's tallest dam. Or, to put it differently, it will be comparable to building the Hoover Dam on top of the largest dam in the world. Having increased the power of runoff water to accomplish useful work, the enormous Alaskan Yukon collection of reservoirs will provide regulation, navigation, and a complete transformation of the biosphere and noosphere environments. The excess of this system will be directed southward down the Yukon Basin at 2,100 feet above sea level. The flow is lifted 300 feet at the Taku Lift. Here, a major addition by the Liard River system also, at 2,400 feet, is brought across the Mackenzie River Basin to contribute to the collection. Continuing to collect flows along a series of rivers on the coastal mountains, the water is brought south to the second major inflection point, the Fraser Lift. At the Fraser Lift, another addition from the Mackenzie River Basin is added to the Nawapa Collection via the Peace River Reservoir, and a large portion of the total flow is pump-lifted 670 feet into the Rocky Mountain Trench to an elevation of 3,000 feet, requiring 6,800 megawatts of power. The Rocky Mountain Trench forms the primary storage basin for the Nawapa system, regulating and delivering the flow southward to the transfer function of Nawapa. In addition to the collection from the north, 
This natural gorge is transformed into the central reservoir by regulating three other major rivers, the Columbia, Fraser, and Kootenay rivers. The Fraser River contribution to the trench will be supplemented by northern flows, and the Columbia will be regulated and supplemented further south. The Rocky Mountain Trench, 500 miles long, will store a total of 520 million acre-feet of water, an order of magnitude larger than any reservoir in the entire United States. When sung from the right throat, creation can be a wondrous word. So the true song lives not in the note, but when the song and mind alike live only between the notes. The secret of economy lies not in the thing produced, but rather in the order which subsumes and passes each mere thing. Man's power to exist lies not in things which exist, but in the process which things and mortal human lives come and go in the domain of the immortality of a very special species, mankind. Such is the meaning of man's universe. Such is the true meaning of infrastructure. Such is the rarely understood grandeur of the intention of an Awapa whose idea could not be killed. Such is the true practical meaning of man's access to the immortality of each great dream. It partakes of the immortality of a creator. Nuapa could not be killed because it is the immortal feet on which man's future presently hangs. So be Nuapa in our present hands.